Who we what's going on YouTube? It's Donnie B all day. I'm bringing you a gentleman's folder. Gentleman's EDC dispatch is like the kings of gentlemen's EDC. I want you to notice something about design. Uh, this design, you'll notice this right here has a full slab scale, where this one has a cutout. Normally, when you see a cutout, it's because to get access to the liner lock. This one has an access access lock right here. So since the it's a plunger style lock, there is no um, there is no liner lock. So what this cutout is for is specifically to open the knife. It just leaves you a spot for your thumb to go in or your fingers so you can do a pinch and pull so you can open the blade. Now this one doesn't have accidental blade closure. So right here I'm pulling back the plunger and you'll notice I need to use force. I could put it against my leg, do whatever. To open it it doesn't have accidental blade open you pull it this is a gentleman's carry this isn't your speedy fighting knife this is that knife that you pull out of your pocket to get the task done that you need to get done it's um it's really really nice and you do have that really nice um that spring from the from the axis lock you can feel the spring tighten as you go to close so it really snaps in there you have a nice little pocket clip right here. It is ambidextrous. You have some really nice contouring. That's that's pretty good looking. Now, when I'm looking at the, the knife, it looks black. But then you look at the G10 cut, and it looks blue. So it's actually got this really cool thing going on with the color. Um, you have a 7 and a quarter inch overall length with a 3 inch uh, blade, leaving 4 and a quarter inches in the grip. Very, very nice. You have some sweet jimping here. Um, clearly, you have the thumb hole there to open it. Uh, it's a it's a nice knife. This is one of those nothing extras, nothing needed gentleman's carries that's going to just be sharp, out of the pocket, and ready to go. Speaking of sharp, shark, shark, sharp, let's find out how sharp. Ooh, ooh. All right, so we do have a, I just lost some light. We do have a hair popping shave sharp blade. I don't know if you guys can see that in this light, but there is hair all over there. Um, so it is it is shave sharp. Oh, there we go. There we go. I knew eventually it uh it will carve some hairs off of your arm. But that means as a gentleman's uh, as a gentleman's carry, as a gentleman's pocket knife, it's going to be made for opening packages, cut note paper, cardboard, things like that. Um, and it's going to do it. It's going to do it well. Not only that, but a D2 steel, well heat treated as they always do, 17% off of $35.99. That means really good price. So these things are dirt cheap. They have them in two different colors. The black blue, which is what this is, and they have a black red. So it, it's not the same color. It's black on top, and then the blue is a layer underneath that they carve in. And uh, I think that looks really good. The black and red looks as good as well. And again, $35.99, 17% off, following the link and the code down below. Um, that's really, really, really nice. The knife is super comfortable in the hand. It's really grippy, and we need to take it outside and cut with it. So let's go. All right. So I want to do a, to get it out here in the sun, and we have some sun just peering behind the clouds. But you get to see, that's not a bad looking knife right there. That's not a bad looking knife at all, especially for the price. That's really super good for the price. Now the cutout is made right-handed specific to open with your thumb. And if I had the ability to use my, ah, oh, oh the nerves. If I had the ability to use my left thumb, oh, every time I tap right here, it just runs straight through me. You can actually use your middle finger to open so it's not right-handed specific. Right-handed, you use your thumb, and left-handed, you'd be using your fingers. I just can't get my hand all the way around it, which stinks, but you can see where we're going. Now, there's a lot of background noise today because they're doing some stuff over at the Veteran Cemetery. Uh, you can see the <laughs> giant crane in the air. Um, but I think we'll be okay because I'm Italian, which means I'm naturally loud. So let's go. Uh, let's go get some cutting in. Ooh, yeah. All right. So since this is a gentleman's knife, we're gonna do gentleman tasks, and we're not gonna do things like hard downward throws 
Oh, wait, yeah, we are. We're gonna test the knife. We're gonna test it. We're gonna do things it's not made to do, but it should be able to handle it no problem. Let's do some four foot drops and we'll see how that bite goes. Now there is a, a light swedging on here, uh, on the end of the blade, making it a really nice, fine cutting uh, tip. So it's nice and thin, which means it's going to dive in just like that every time. That's that's almost a half inch in, um, just on a four foot drop. Let's try some um, some hard downward throws. Bam! That hit solid. That is a ton of impact going in. That's over a half inch bite. Bam! <laughs> All right, that really really digs in there. You can see the line right there how far that blade is getting in so so as far as penetration is concerned you have a really good knife for digging into something and uh that is really helpful now hard downward throws are the best way to damage the internals and have a loose knife um there is zero wiggle wobble or loosening in this knife it's a it's a pretty sweet blade let's see i don't know if i can do a push cut because this thing was all wet but we're gonna try Oh, well, we're gonna try because when it's wet it kind of gets soft and then the I tend to push the threads into the log but we'll try oh look at that um, that was actually really nice it didn't start pushing until all the way at the bottom just a push cut I mean it, it doesn't get much better than that it doesn't get much better than that it's just nice all right so let's try the uh, garden hose what I want to do is I want to get closer to you guys I'll actually use my log as a seat it's a very uncomfortable seat. All right, I'm trying to remember how, how to hold it. So let's see here. Oh yeah. So it's it's taking care of the hose, no problem. The um the edge geometry, the blade angles on this are super nice. Uh, so far I, I've I've brought you guys, I don't know, maybe five or more different dispatch knives and every single one of them cuts every single one of them works let's see if we can't Ooh, trying to be really careful with my hand here be really really careful what i want to do is try and go through instead of up i want to go across which is the harder cut on a garden hose and it looks like no freaking problem that's really nice that's really nice. That's a tough cut on this. Let's see. Ugh. All right, so we got the hard leather saddlebags. Man, I keep flicking my nerve. Look at that. That is just shaving straight through. That is super, super nice. Now, I told you it's got a uh, great penetrating style tip. Let's test it. Oh yeah, I mean that is a great penetrating tip. It's, I mean, there's a, a whole. I know it's just leather, but I mean, <laughs> I'm leather, so if it goes through that, it goes through me. Um, that is really, really nice. It is an absolute, absolute gem of a cutter. I wanted to find, I wanted to find something with a little bark on it. Come on over here. All right, so let's see what we got with this. I'm going to pinch it in between two fingers because I just need to use my left hand. Let's see. Look at how pretty that is. So edge geometry, it's it's a big thing. There's parts, there's layers when you're talking about bark on, on fir trees and pine trees. Taking off this first layer, it's an extremely thin layer. Underneath this layer is a completely different color. So by using edge geometry, I'm able to go in between the layers and choose which layer I want to take without touching the other one and um, that means your knife isn't just sharp but your edge geometry your your blade angles are just perfect are perfect it's not taking more than you want and it's not taking less than you want this knife and I'm not even I, I have not even close to a proper grip on this knife and um, I'm able to manipulate the blade angles easily if you're holding a knife in between two fingers and you can cut precision cuts you can't blame that on your own talents that's that's the knife that's absolutely the knife it does a great great job let's see if i can get some 
some nice hard ones holding it right with the jimping. Let's see, oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about right there. That's what I'm talking about right there. So this is absolutely taking material to make that tip. Um, that is fine, fine, fine. So this knife, this knife is just really, really well made. And the price, the price, it's the angles and the steel, the kind of steel D2. Everybody knows I'm a big fan of D2. D2 I say it all the time. I love D2 steel. Um, so you got your steel, you got your G10. Uh, you have a strong knife. I mean, it's taken hard downwards. It's going through all kinds of stuff. There's no loosening, wiggling, wobbling, or anything like that. For the price, the price is just ridiculous. It's just ridiculous. All right, so let's come over here, get a nice stab into the old Rubbermaid, and it's just no problem. That is just no problem. Digging through a hard plastic trash barrel, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Let's talk about some kindling here. Let's talking about being out in the, in the wilderness and making yourself a fire, needing some kindling. All right. How's the access lock working? gonna work out for you? Well, I'll tell you what, if you gotta get a fire going and you need some small pieces of wood, and you do, you do to get this thing started, you're gonna have no problems making kindling with your dispatch gentleman's knife. So if this happens to be the only knife that you have on you and you're stuck in a jam you're gonna be a-okay you're gonna be a-okay because it's gonna do oh my gosh it's gonna do everything this knife is so so nice and this is not how you hold a knife to do feathering but <laughs> when you're limited this is how you hold a knife to do feathering but you can see that even with a troubled hand I have no problems getting the work done that I need to get done to stay alive. The knife is just made right. It's made right. And there's no way a knife made this good should be this price, but it is. All right, let's try some of this plastic netting here. I didn't know if the, the camera stopped rolling. I had, to, I had to pause and look at you. All right, let's see here. Let's see here. How am I going to cut this? Oh, wow. That was super clean. That was super clean. Um, I mean, that was nice. So plastic netting, obviously this stuff, this stuff is tough. It's tough. It's hard on an edge. I don't know. When you get the right knives, when you get good blade angles, what should be deemed hard on an edge becomes less hard on an edge. That's, I mean, that's just nice. That's just nice. Do, 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 cutting carpet. Man, this knife don't care if you got a bad hand. It says, I will pick up the slack. Well, let's see here. Got that nasty carpet sitting outside. Boom, just easy money. Um, the knife is good. There's no two ways around it. I'm not telling you it's good. I'm showing you it's good. And that's the difference. That's the difference. I can put this at a tabletop and I can put it under some light and I can show you under a microscope what this knife looks like. And I can tell you by what it looks like, oh, this must be a good knife. But I'm not going to do that. I'm not telling you the knife is good. I'm showing you. I'm proving it to you. This knife, for the price is better than a lot of knives that are double or triple the price this is this is crazy so follow the link below and you can get one 17 percent off of 30 bucks 30 plus bucks whatever it is i mean <laughs> come on that's actually uh that's actually fantastic so uh this batch does it again they make another super good quality gentleman's knife Ready to pocket, ready to carry, ready to use. I am Donnie B. All day. Until next. Knife.